I'm speaking now totally for myself. I'm not speaking for the Republican Party. I'm not speaking for anybody in the House of Representatives but myself. But I'm ashamed of what happened in the White House yesterday. I think it is a tragedy of the first proportion that a private corporation can be sub subjected to what I would characterize as a shakedown, in this case a $20 billion shakedown, with the Attorney General of the United States who is legitimately conducting a criminal investigation and has every right to do so to protect the interests of the American people, participating in what amounts to uh, a $20 billion slush fund that's unprecedented in our nation's history, that's got no legal standing, and which sets, I think, a terrible precedent for the future. If I called you into my office, and I had the subcommittee chairman, Mr. Stupak, with me, who was legitimately conducting an oversight investigation on your company, and said, if you put so many millions of dollars in a project in my congressional district, I could go to jail and should go to jail. Now, there is no question that British Petroleum owns this lease. There is no question that British Petroleum, that BP, I'm sorry, it's not British Petroleum more, that BP made decisions that objective people think compromise safety. There is no question that BP is liable for the damages. But we have a due process system <clears throat> where we go through hearings, in some cases court cases, litigation, and determine what those damages are and when those damages should be paid. So I'm only speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I apologize. I do not want to live in a country where any time a citizen or a corporation does something that is legitimately wrong is subject to some sort of political pressure that is, again, in my words, amounts to a shakedown. So I apologize. But on this hearing today, I am with Mr. Waxman, with Mr. Stupak. There are answers that need to be asked, questions that need to be asked that are legitimate because we don't want another oil spill of this magnitude or of any magnitude in the Gulf of Mexico. And if this subcommittee can do things that make it much more difficult for this type of an incident to occur in the future, then we will have done our work for the American people. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.